Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you guys how to find the longest common subsequence in Java. So now, let's get started. Before that, if you are new to our channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the latest notification. So, the longest common subsequence is uh, one of the problems that we can solve by using dynamic programming. So, in particular, uh, longest common subsequence problem is a problem that will give us two sequences and we need to find the length of the longest subsequence present in both of them. Uh, so what is a subsequence? A uh, subsequence is a sequence that appears in the same relative order but not necessarily contiguous. So for example, uh, I have these two uh, subsequence. So here you can see the common subsequence are PC, CDAC, DAC, AC, AC, CD, and so on. And among these subsequences, uh, CDAC uh, is the longest common subsequence. And our uh, mission is to find uh, this longest common subsequences using dynamic programming. And moreover, the longest common subsequence must be a strictly increasing sequences of the, the indices of both uh, subsequent ones and subsequent two. So, in a strictly increasing sequence uh, means the indices of the elements chosen from the original sequences must be in ascending order. So, if I have this sequence, then APD cannot be a subsequent of uh, the of S1 uh, as because the order of the element is not the same. So now I will take these two strings as an example A, B, C, D, E and A, C, E. So, so, so if you want to start, so so we should start at the beginning of both string, right? Like we're looking for the longest common subsequence. It might just be that uh, both the string are actually equal, right? And that could be a possible way. So let's look at first character in each string. And in this case, they match each other. So, and they, they are the same character. So does it at least make sense that uh, if both of the characters match each other, so the first character that the longest common subsequence, then we can break it into sub problem right now. So uh, the new problem uh, we're looking at is finding the longest common subsequence between the remainder of both string. So uh, it means uh, means this string and this string plus one. So we plus one because we see that the first two characters are equal, and that's where our one comes from, right? Because we know that the longest common subsequent is at least going to be one because we found a matching pair of characters right and then we have a sub problem and you might know that that's what dynamic programming is all about finding the sub problem now what if this character was uh, D so it's clearly to see that uh, B is not matched with A, so uh, they are uh, different character, right? So uh, what would we do? Uh, so we can do what we just did. We can add one and then find the uh, longest common subsequence between uh, the remainder of the two strings. So we can do that, but we can break it into a different sub problem. We can say well. Uh, it's possible that the longest common subsequence could be between these two strings. Uh, it could be between this string 
and this screen so this is just a little bit of an explanation before i show you the actual dynamic programming solution so basically what we found out is that based on comparing the first two characters whether they equal or not equal we can break up uh, the problem into two problems and then solve those stuff so let me explain more what i just did so i have two string here string one and string two so here's a layer to the uh, dynamic programming so this grid is uh, a common way to use to uh, zoom that and here is uh if the the character is match with each other at this position it will go here and then now we just need to check this string the remaining string of string one and screen 2 because uh, the first character is already matched so now here you can see the B the first character B and C is not matched to each other so like here we we will not go diagonally we will go here and here so at this position uh, C is match with C so let, just like the first time we will go diagonally we move to here and then we keep continue so the inner smash should E so we go to here and here so I create this for not uh, uh, so we, we won't go out of bounds so here is in my shoot E so it will go from here so but it's uh, the end of the matrix so each time it's go diagonally we will count it at once here but uh, here we go down and right so it means zero so we take one plus zero so this is uh, still number one here and then keep continue so this is diagonally so this means it means that this one and we take one plus one so we have two here and then this is two plus zero so we have two and the last one we have two plus one is three So the longest common subsequence is 3. So now let's implement that algorithm. So I will create a function to find a lo longest common subsequence. I will take string 1 and string 2 as parameter. And here m and n will be the size of string 1 and string 2. And firstly, I will create a table and the first row. Here, the first row and the first column are filled with zero. So the table will look like this table here. And then I will initialize the table. And we will fill each cell uh, using the following logic uh, in this for loop. Yeah, so here. This uh, if statement is to uh, fill the first row and first column with uh, zeros, and then if character uh, corresponding to the current row and current column are matching, then we fill the current cell by adding one to the diagonal element, one, uh, and then point an arrow to the diagonal cells. So how do you know that I point to diagonal? So here I minus uh, I minus one and chain minus one at the same time. It will create a diagonal. Yeah. And otherwise we will take the maximum value from the previous column and previous row element for filling the current cell and point an arrow to the cell with uh, maximum value. And if uh, they are equal, 
we can point to any of them, doesn't matter. So, and then we fill the values and we keep repeat it until uh, the table is filled with own values. So, and as the result, as I uh, explained in the end rhythm, the last row and last column is the length of the longest common subsequence. So, here is the length of the longest common subsequence. So, that is how we find the length of the longest common subsequence. So, now we will find the, the longest common subsequence elements. So, um, so, in order to find the longest common subsequence, we start from the last element. So, we will start from here. And then, why we can uh, still go backward, we will compare. And if the character of string 1 equal to string 2, we will take uh, that character of string one, I think it doesn't matter because uh, both character is are equal. So we take that and put into uh, we create an array to start the longest common uh, subsequence. So we start that character from here, and we go diagonal. Uh, so to go diagonal, we uh, minus i and j at the same time. And then we minus the index. The index is the position uh, in the array. We're going to start the longest common subsequence. So we start it uh, at the last point, and then we move to the next point. So and then the process keep uh, repeated uh, until uh, until we fill this array with the longest common subsequence. Uh, otherwise, uh, if uh, both character are not match, we will uh, go left and up. So until we find the uh, match character to put into the the array, and finally we will bring that subsequence. This is easy, so we just uh, use for loop to bring on the element in uh, the array yeah and here it is uh, our main so we call scanner object to take the input of string 1 and string 2 and use s1.len to get the length of string 1 and put it in a variable m and we do the similar thing for string 2 and we call the uh, function which is uh, created to find the longest common subsequence. Now, uh, let's test the program. So, the install string one like uh, A, B, C, D, E, and uh, string two will be A, C, D. So, it should uh, let's A, C, M, D. So, it should. Uh, Uh, sorry, I will repeat that because there's some error when I input the M character. So let's do it again. So A B C D E and A M N uh, C E. So as you can see, the output should be A C E. So let's see. Yeah, the longest common subsequence is A C E. So our program works successfully. And that's the end of this video, thank you for watching, if this video is helpful, please give us a like and comment below, in the next video I will show you guys how to find the salty common subsequence in Java, so see you guys in the next video.